<clears throat> good day to every uh, to everyone uh, welcome to the new semester a241 and subject mpu 1052 principles of entrepreneurship uh, let me introduce myself my name is uh, ts dr madivanan jagannathan i am your subject coordinator okay uh, for the mpu 1052 so I would like to uh, take this opportunity to explain about the syllabus, assignment and uh, additional tasks you're supposed to do in my class and also in other lecturers class. Okay, this subject is highly standardized in terms of assignment, syllabus and also uh, some task. Uh, therefore, uh, regardless of the class, even group A, group B, C, D or E, all of you uh, need to follow the same standards for this subject. Okay, so maybe your lecturers uh, give you additional tasks for the enhancement of the knowledge. It's subject to the lecturers. Okay, however, today I'm going to explain to you again. Uh, let me read <coughs> uh, about syllabus, assignment and also a uh, task that you're supposed to do, okay? So I just uh, two times repeated the things in order to make sure you follow all the things, all the procedures, because if you fail to put, follow the procedures, it may lead to the deduction of the marks, very high marks for each assignment. Okay, let me explain to you one by one. First of all, okay, for your information, most of you are semester one, okay, you have to go to your uh, UEM online learning. Okay, UEM online learning. You can just type like this in the Google. Or you can directly go through portal. Okay. Uh, so once you log in, so like my case, I'm teaching uh, group R. Okay, MPU 1052 A241. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, maybe some errors. You can go directly through online learning also. You also can directly go, okay, like this, two for one. Okay. 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 Okay, fine. Great. So, what is UEM online learning? UEM online learning, it's a place for the storage of your assignment questions okay for example my case assignment one assignment two i already upload here okay and uh, notes will be here as well okay notes also will be here as well so you have to uh, download all the materials from here even you have to upload the notes sorry upload the assignment over here uem online learning okay so students are required to upload the notes uh, sorry uh, assignment <laughs> assignment uh, through on UEM online learning okay let me go through one by one okay before okay so UEM Online Learning is a one-stop center to download notes, to upload the assignment, to click the link, uh, to fill up certain things. Okay, so please follow the UEM Online Learning. Okay, first of all, as a student, I uh, I think most of the class, okay, you will have a WhatsApp group. So your lecturer will give you WhatsApp group. So like my class, I will give you a WhatsApp group over here. You just click the whatsapp group and just join okay just join the whatsapp group okay like this a241 principles of entrepreneurship okay in order to uh, communicate with your friends and also lecturers okay you will have only one lecturer okay okay second the most important thing is biodata form okay biodata form this one okay it's give you a profile Okay, give you a profile. 
okay your name your class your metric number everything okay so i want you fill up all of this very important okay okay and also the lesson b okay register your lesson b okay uh, register your lesson b uh, so i think uh, you will have a special session for the lesson b uh, registration by ppks okay okay uh, before i proceed about assignment and so on let me explain about the syllabus and what are the things you have to do in the class Okay, first of all, uh, let me open my syllabus. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Student syllabus. Okay. Uh, you can download from your UEM online portal. It has been uploaded. Okay. You can download. Okay. First of all, the subject is a principles of entrepreneurship. Okay. This subject is a unique subject because this subject newly designed subject, previously known as. Uh, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, different code, BPME1013. So now it has changed to MPU1052, Principles of Entrepreneurship. And it's a compulsory subject as a university subject. So regardless of the program, you have to take this subject in order to understand what is entrepreneurship, business. Okay. Okay. And this subject is uh, quite different compared to the other classes because you will have only one time meeting with your lecturer okay one time class two hours directly if let's say your class 8 30 so 10 30 finish your class okay one time meeting per week compared to other classes maybe two times okay one and a half hour and one one and a half hour this class is only two hours class okay so what is this subject this subject is this course emphasize the fostering the entrepreneurial culture among the student so that the they can embrace entrepreneurial values in everyday life so we will teach you what is entrepreneurship? What are the importance of the entrepreneurship? Why people are doing business, making money, and so on. And also, you will learn about the uh, historical things, concept of theories, self-development, skills, and behavior you should have in order to be an entrepreneur. The students also exposed to the development of the creative and innovative skills, as well as business startup process. Okay. Uh, what are the needed creative and innovative skills? And also, what are the things you have to do? to start a business and this course expose student the several method of starting a business okay so first of all there are three clo okay first clo explain the concept and the importance of entrepreneurship this one uh, this clo will be applied for the final exam okay and to achieve the clo 2 demonstrate the digital business skill uh, you have to do one online business digital business in a group format okay and the clo 3 Propose a basic business plan. This is another assignment. You have to prepare your business plan. Okay. And what are the skills you will learn or transferable to you upon the completion of this course? First, knowledge and understanding, digital skill and entrepreneurial skill. These three. Okay. And for your information, your classes, okay, your classes will be conducted teaching method, physical and online classes and also independent learning. Okay, physical class means the lecturer will come to your class and teach two hours. Another method is lecturers are encouraged to teach through online, Webex class. Or your lecturers can upload the recorded version of the class. Three methods. For your information, this subject can be online class up to 50%. Out of 14, you have a 14 weeks, so 14 classes. Seven classes can be online. Seven classes can be face-to-face. Uh, -face. 
okay different okay good so what are the topics okay so first of all uh, first topic is the introduction to entrepreneurship okay introduction to entrepreneurship uh, you will learn about the concept method islamic entrepreneurship and so on in this first topic okay second topic is about assessing business environment once you understand the entrepreneurship you must know how to assess the business environment okay external internal and so on okay and the third one is creativity and innovation okay in entrepreneurship okay okay so you will learn about creativity innovation and so on okay digital entrepreneurship is more to okay defining digital entrepreneurship okay this online business okay online base how you run the business through online okay so you will learn about uh, digital entrepreneurship like uh, you know the rise of digital entrepreneurship digital entrepreneurship environment and so on okay and the fifth is the business plan business plan actually uh, is your assignment okay your assignment and you learn what are the type of the business plan how to prepare business plan okay it's more to basic okay not very deep okay and uh, you will learn also about you know bmc business model canvas okay and uh, chapter 6 is a uh, once you prepare your business plan you have to start your business so how to start so that is business startup and financing financing is one of the important thing before you start money okay so what are the things you have to look into before you start a business okay and uh, chapter 7 ah, so once your business expanded okay established maybe you think about you know a uh, global market so in this topic small and medium enterprises global market and social entrepreneurship so we will cover three different uh, dimensions so what is small business entrepreneurship sorry small and medium enterprises second is global market and uh, social entrepreneurship okay so these are the seven topics that you are going to learn throughout the semester okay uh, this is the very basic subject and you will enjoy the class with your lecturers okay they will share the experiences and also uh, some of the you know important matters to you in order to establish your business okay okay and even uh, my personally i encourage you to start a business while you are a student okay you can be a self employed rather than being employed by others okay so basically in this subject there are three components okay assessment okay first final assessment final final assessment mean final exam okay final exam as usual 40 percentage marks out of 100 40 percentage from your final exam and it's purely objective a b c d okay a b c d objective paper 100 questions okay 100 question from chapter 1 to 7 all chapters will be assessed okay that is the final exam and the another two is business plan 30 percent marks it's a group i will explain later okay and the online business okay and uh, you can use this book as a reference but uh, <clears throat> this book some of the notes are not uh, really linked to the uh, syllabus but you can still use textbook for this subject still under development okay but you can use this book 80% fit for your things but don't worry uh, exam going to be uh, mostly based on the slides and a little bit from the book and your exam another one is going to be dewi bahasa dewi bahasa mean dewi language english and malay okay and your classes will be conducted either in english or malay or mixed mode depend on the lecturer that is about the subject syllabus and the class okay let me explain about the assignment okay your assignment okay your assignment is first assignment is business plan so your business plan is mean you are planning to do business okay two for one okay and you have to prepare the business model sorry business plan and business model canvas 
Okay, wait. Eh? And it will carry 30% marks eh? out of 100. Okay. So, business model, you have you should have uh, two components in your assignment. This is business plan. Second is BMC, business model canvas. Okay. Okay. And for your business plan, before you prepare your business plan, I want you go to the template. I have a template. You go to the template. Okay, and you download the template. Okay, I have a template. So, before you do your business plan, download the template and follow the template. That is very important. So this is a template. Okay. So, if you look at the division template, template, you can click the view and go to the navigation pane. Okay, this one. Then you can see the all the things. What are the what are the important things you have to include in your assignment? Okay, so you can customize accordingly. Uh, you see all the matters from business description, market analysis, business model canvas. Okay, you can ask further to your. Uh, to your lecturer okay marketing and sales strategy okay product and service description operation and management okay operation plan okay financial plan okay what are the things you have to include so i have all the items so you can click and you can fit based on your business plan okay so basically what you have to do in your business plan okay you can read the instruction over here. Okay. So your business plan, you have to do the real business. But for the business plan, not necessarily it's a real business. But for the further assignment, which is your online business, you have to do the real business. So maybe uh, you can do for the business plan, different business. It's not a real business. But for the second assignment, which is online, it should be a real business. You have to sell through online. Okay. If you want to do the business plan and you want to continue in your second assignment, which is online business, no problem. If you want to do separately, no problem. Okay. You can do that. For the business plan, maybe you want to do a online travel agency. Okay. But for the business online, you don't want to do. Maybe for the business online assignment, you want to do, you want to sell shoe. No problem. You can do two different business. If you want to do same, also no problem. Okay. For the instruction, okay, you have to follow eight to ten members, eh? and you have to submit this assignment week nine. But this one subject to the lecturers as well. Okay, and the rest you can follow. Not below than thirty pages. Okay, ah. so this is the uh, important thing. Eh? Cover page, and you must have. Uh, your rubric. I have a rubric. Okay, you have to go down and checklist. I have a checklist. Then only table of content and the report. Okay, report means uh, your marketing plan and you know your financial plan, everything, and appendix. And you have to follow the APA format. Okay, I have examples I can show to you. Okay, these are the things you can uh, refer. And I encourage you to use AI. No problem, but don't copy paste from AI.
okay ai to give you idea okay and uh, rubric over here ah this is checklist you must include your checklist okay checklist are followed by your appendix so appendix 1 which is your rubric i will uh, mark your paper based on this okay so this first assignment so let let me show to you some examples eh? uh, what are the example assignments okay uh, business plan no worries i will include the link to you uh, just one minute Okay. Okay. So, for example, okay, from one student, okay, look at her. So, this is sample assignment, okay. She put this one, but she forgot to uh, include the uh, rubric. Okay, a uh, rubric is here. Sorry. So, okay. So, table of content, rubric, followed by checklist, and followed by uh, my template. Okay, executive summary. Okay, business description, detailed business concepts. Okay, business goal, and followed by the market analysis until all the things, and also until appendix. These are the appendix, you see, references and so on. So she follow all of this, you see, template. I gave the template, so they follow the template. Okay. And almost 56 pages. Okay. This is one of the example assignment. Okay. Okay. What about the second assignment? Okay. Second assignment. Okay, second assignment is okay online business. Uh, this is quite a uh, challenging assignment because you have to do online business. You have to sell your product through any social media platform. Okay, first of all, you have to choose one product to sell through online. Okay, through online, and you must make sure that product is not illegal product. Okay, you can sell through TikTok, Facebook, whatever platform, even Shopee also no problem. Okay, uh, but it should be uh, a product or service. Okay, so this assignment objective is I want you learn about the digital landscape. By the conclusion of this assignment, our student will be possess the knowledge and skill necessary to effectively establish and manage online business. No worries, it's a group assignment, not individual. Okay, so first of all, First task, students are required to sell any product through social media platform. You have to choose and uh, you can use any platform. Okay. And you must sell the real product, eh? not, uh, you know, dummy products. You can use Facebook, business page, Facebook marketplace or TikTok. Okay. Instagram, WhatsApp business, whatever is it. Okay. But I want at least one social media. WhatsApp is not a... Uh, Social media, it's a mode to the messenger. You can use WhatsApp for the communication. Okay, you read all of this. Okay. And student must promote and generate the product sale through social media. You have to promote your product through, okay, uh, social media. And uh, you can use the social media advertising tools and so on. And I want to see the social media inside. <coughs> Later, I will show to you. Okay, after that, a second task is you have to develop the simple website about business. Okay. About your business. Okay. Students are tasked with the responsibility of conceptualizing. Okay. I will show to you some examples. You have to develop the website for your, but you can, you don't, 
I don't want you sell your product through website. I want you sell, promote your product through uh, social media. But this website is just to uh, <clears throat> just to store the information about your product. Okay, just a website. Okay. Okay. Then the second thing is after you do, you have to register MDAC portal. It's very important. If you don't register, I will deduct marks. Okay. So in order to register, you have to go to this one. Uh, we will have a special session for this one. Okay. Uh, we will do special session for this. Okay. Uh, so you have to register. So once you register, you can log in. How to use this portal? MDEC, I will arrange one session with the MDEC and they will explain to you. Okay. No worries. Okay. Uh, I will give you guideline. Okay. But in the in the meantime, you will attend one session, special session. Okay. Why this is very important? So once you done a sales, let's say you have a you have done a three sales, okay, three products you have sold, and you have to record your sales in the e-commerce portal. Very important. Okay. So the second another one is I encourage you to register lesson B. This one, this session will be conducted next week. Okay, next week. Uh, next week, uh, I think Tuesday. Okay. Uh, next week mean uh, I think 29 October. We will have a session. Okay, 29. October, we will have a session. Okay. So, this one, PPKS will explain. And same, you must have 8 to 10 members. You are doing business plan, am I right? So, you can maintain the same group members. Depend on you. Okay. And subject to the lecturers. Okay. If your lecturer said, you have to mix, you have to mix. Okay. Subject. Subject to the lecturer's discretion. Okay. Ah. How to do this assignment? You don't need to write any text, you know. Simple text, and you must have a print screen. Uh, let's say you promote your product in social media, you have to print screen. Uh, soft sell, hard sell, and so on. And this one, teaser, soft sell, hard sell, you have to promote. Okay? And you must have a business insights. How many likes, how many post reach. If you go to Facebook, even TikTok, eh, you can see that. Okay, you can go to your setting. You can see. Uh, I want. And another one is sales record with the evidence. Uh, I want your sales record. For example, you post the product. You have a post, post courier, right? You have to take the picture. You communicate through WhatsApp. Uh, even though it's an online business, you can sell through offline also. Maybe your friend communicate through WhatsApp. You can sell directly and you take picture. And another one is an MDAC portal, as I mentioned. And MDEC portal, you have to update your product. Uh, that one, uh, MDEC will explain to you. Okay. And this one, by week 13, you have to submit. Okay. And as usual, uh, you have to follow all the things. Okay. First, cover page, digital skill rubric, checklist, and so on. Okay. And the plagiarism, AI usage, uh, depend on you. Okay. How you want to use. And this is the checklist you have to include. Okay, and also you have to include this one. Digital skills rubric. Okay. Okay, good. Um, what are the sample assignments? Okay, let me show to you sample assignment. This assignment is very straightforward. Okay. Okay, you see, as I mentioned to you, okay, online business, uh, they are selling wind pieces, okay, how they sell it, you see, uh, all of them, 10, and they include rubric and the checklist, this is a checklist. So, if you miss one of these, 
your lecturer will deduct your marks. Okay. I see. So they explain a little bit what is their business. Okay, little bit enough. Okay, they are selling uh, wind cases. Okay, and you see, this is their TikTok. This is their TikTok. So the TikTok still, uh, you see, they have a followers uh, and they are selling their product through TikTok. You can sell through uh, uh, Facebook also, but I encourage to, uh, Facebook, uh, this one, uh, you see, they are sell through Shopee, this group is quite advanced, okay, Instagram, okay, they promote through Instagram, okay, after that, you see, they do the teaser, they do the soft sell, just take the picture. Uh, you can put as many as you can the picture. I see. Hard sell, promotional teaser. Okay. Uh, then they put the inside. Uh, this is inside. If you go to TikTok, you can see, you know, uh, your TikTok. How many views of your product. Okay. Uh, and also they include, the, you know, all the insights. Okay. Data. And also Shopee. How many likes and so on. And then sales. Okay, uh, you see account reach, whatever relevant you can include. Okay, then they create a website. You know, they create a website. You see the website. They include the website. Okay, I think they have a link. Where is it? There. Eh? Uh, okay. Oops, they didn't include the. They have somewhere. Okay. Uh, this is a website. After the website, as I mentioned to you, you have to put your sales record. Okay, sales record in your MDEC portal. This one, MDEC uh, in charge PIC will explain to you. Okay, and they, you see, their sales, monthly income and everything. Okay, and for this one, the compulsory, you know, not only group leader. 10, if let's say 10 members, you have to create an account for that. All of you must create compulsory create MDAC portal. If let's say your sales is a thousand ringgit, you have to divide. You have to divide the sales according to 10. It's up to your agreement, up to your uh, <clears throat> acceptance, you know. I mean, uh, maybe 10%, uh, 20%, 30%, something like that. You want to divide according to the uh, group members. But I want... 10 account uh, and you divide the sales and record. Don't record uh, oh, this person 1000, this person 1000, this person 1000. No, no, no. You have to divide the sales. Okay. You see. And they record everything and other relevant information. Okay. Shopping page. Okay. Uh, this is sales. You see. Uh, this one feedback from customer. Very important. They got a feedback. They include testimonial, okay, and also they record all the same and problem and challenges of online business little bit, okay, uh, and uh, finally they put the reference and also they include the most important thing is MDAC. You see, each member, Oi Kailin, okay, Ko uh, Chai He, all of them include their personal sales. It means they divide their sales. Okay, they divide their sales and put in the assignment as an image. Okay, as an image. See, compulsory. If you don't put this one, you will be penalized. You see. Okay. So, don't worry. I will include all this link of assignment and you can do uh, download it. Okay. Okay, uh, let me show to you uh, the guideline. Actually, uh, your lecturer will give you the guideline, so-called MDAC portal guideline. Okay, uh, so you can, I can open that. Okay, uh, this one. Look at this. Okay. 
this is the guideline user guideline so i will include all of this you can download and you can create an account okay you see mdac eu sa one new new reservation okay how to register if let's say you have registered previously maybe you are from polytechnic student or any colleges you have registered you just continue the uh, previous registration don't try to uh, register new one you can't okay you can't uh, register the new one okay uh, this one sample okay okay i will include all of this no worries and uh, i hope i have explained about the assignment syllabus and also uh, about mdac portal registration and also my template business plan template so i hope you understand and don't forget to fill up the biodata form is very important thank you very much